Janet, uh, do you still have your regular um, show every Thursday at uh, the wine place up in Round Rock? Oh, it was every once in a while, and I had a, um, and I had a two-hour show of music there a month ago or something. Um, might as well, because I'm going to have to do something else. Let's uh, hold on read. Thank you. Um, so, yes, I do music, and I do poetry and stuff, but hi. Hi, I'm Janet. This handsome guy over here is John, and... Um, happy National Poetry Month, everyone. Um, if anybody has nothing good, I don't need it. No, oh, thank you. Because I forgot my stuff, so I have to read everything off my phone. <laughs> um, if and nobody has anything going on on Sunday, um, I thought it'd be a good idea if we could all get together at Graffiti Park at the far left side, maybe Sunday at like 3.30 in the afternoon and just bomb the place with poetry. Because starting in Chicago, I'm a Chicago, and there's a thing called the Poetry Bomb where you get together on the last Sunday in April, uh, starting at 3.30 in the afternoon, you pick some place. So I thought, hey, everybody, if anybody wants to come on by, I've got a Facebook event listing for it. If you want to search it up for the Poetry Bomb in Austin, I would love to see you there, especially because somebody has just bought the actual graffiti park and it's going to be gone. So we won't be around next year. So everybody come on out and join me this Sunday. We'll do Ron Robin poetry there or something. So um, the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to share a poem with you that is called, well, it was a uh, poem about relationships. <laughs> and it is called Being God. tired of dying for your sins over and over again and why is it that I'm the one that's doing all the dying and you're the one that's doing all the sinning I don't think you're learning your lesson I'm tired of taking this knife to my hands over and over again giving myself the stigmata the blood gets all over my clothes and I can never get the stains out and for what for you to see how I suffer I'm tired of being humble when I'm supposed to be the one with the power. Over and over again, I become your servant, and never are you bowing to me. I don't even get a thank you. I'm tired of preaching to the converted, when the converted aren't even really listening. They're all just snoring in the back rows while I deliver my sermon, and there isn't even air conditioning in here, and I'm sweating. I'm tired of coming to you and healing the sick, taking away your problems over and over again, giving you something to look forward to, and all I have is an eternity of waiting for someone to take my place and tend to my wounds. I'm tired of giving the earth up to you, watching the devil's work be done, and you know, he's just sitting down there looking at me and laughing over and over again because it's so easy for him when he doesn't have to work. I'm tired of being your salvation over and over again and you turning to me and I've got no one to turn to but myself. It's a bitch, you know, being your own God since no one can save me from me. I'm tired of being your teacher, handing you what you need on a silver platter and waiting for that damn collection plate and someone's always stealing out of it from the back row. I know who you are, you who leave me nothing. I'm tired of wearing this crown of thorns over and over again. The needles prick my skin, and, and even gods bleed. At least this one does. And whenever I ask you to wipe the blood out of my eyes, well, I can't see you anywhere. I'm tired of being something for everybody when everybody is nothing for me. Maybe the devil has the right idea, you know. Maybe I'll just sit back and wait for you to miss me as you wonder, who's your messiah now? Thank you. If everybody's looking for something to do this Saturday, I am honored to be guest hosting a poetry open mic in Georgetown. Come to the Georgetown Public Library from 12.30 until 2.30 in the afternoon. I'll be taking over a poetry open mic called Poetry Aloud. There will be signs to come up around Robin Poetry. We love poetry as well as music, and that's why I've got my lovely and charming husband John here. I know my lovely host has heard this song recently, but I wanted to share with you a poem of mine that is set to music from John. This is a song called Made Any Difference.
So I'm at my bar, my favorite hangout. I just overheard from people talking and that another guy who's always here in the past few months has had a few strokes. <laughs> now this is a scrape vibe. I just heard snippets, but I need to see him put in my two cents. He went up for a smoke, and even though I don't, I walked up to him after he lit up. I reached my hand out toward his cigarette. He offered me a new one. I reached my hand out toward his cigarette. He offered me a new one, but I wanted his. Then holding a smoke, I told him that I heard I spoke of his wife, asked about his kid And I don't really want to get an eye horse here But we care for him, we want him happy He said I was right, he'll take some time off Then holding a smoke, he said that he should quit He handed me a smoke and then walked away I reached my hand out toward his cigarette He offered me a new one I reached my hand out toward his cigarette He offered me a new one, but I wanted his Stood there a while, sucking nicotine, wondering if I made any difference. I had reached my hand out toward his cigarette. He offered me a new one. I reached my hand out toward his cigarette He offered me a new one but I wanted his ba 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 Last one I'm going to share with you. I'm a Chicagoan that's moved here recently in recent years. And um, recently, shortly before leaving, I did a feature there about dealing with getting arrested and dealing with court stuff in Chicago. And this is one of the poems that was a part of the show. And I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> I don't get to swear that often, so I'm enjoying this. And this is called Poem Called Vent. As a part of my bargaining before sentencing, I have to go through group evaluation sessions. There are like a dozen of us in here waiting to start. We all just sit here and shut up and look around and wait. The walls' rooms are painted blue. Kind of like a, an industrial blue, but I don't even know what an industrial blue looks like. The, the walls make me think of Pepto-Bismol, but, but not pink. It's like they're a Pepto-Bismol 
blue. <sighs> On one wall, there's a motivational poster for opportunity. It says, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a wall. <laughs> I'm building my walls. I'll scoop out the mortar and slather that grout so thick that no one can move the bricks or hear my screams. <laughs> like this place is going to do me an ounce of good. I know I played my cards right and was nice to the cops, but that one guy, the one who's bald on top of his head and he's got this completely hideous ring of hair circling his head like ear warmers, I'd like to take a stainless steel spade and bash his fucking head in, but once he fell to the ground, I would take an ice pick and pop out each one of his tiny, beady little ugly eyes and then spear his tongue with that ice pick so that he could taste his eye juice. And then, I'd have to get the solid steel mallet and split that monk head open, and since he's got brains and they won't seem to move, I'll have to take one of those gardening style hand forks so I could drag out his little brain bits and burst them apart as his blood coagulates while I scrape out and sculpt them into a shape of a giant middle finger. So that I could say, fuck you, cop, in front of what's left of his oozing eyes so that he could see how much he's despised and he could see how little brain that little piece of shit has left. And the funny thing is, he's not even the guy that arrested me. <laughs> oh, the session's about to start. Well, they'll ask us then to tell the whole group about our crimes. I don't know why or how that will help us. But it's time to start the show. Turn that frown upside down and act like you want to be here because this is just one more step until it's all over and you'll be finally free. Thank you. Thank you very much. the talented uh, artist and performer. She does lots of stuff. So we appreciate you. Everybody, Janet, one more time.